you guys are pretty much wrapping up camp? Um, yeah, for the most part, it felt uh, different. We're um, just fine tuning things, getting ready for Miami, and um, going out there and executing. What's that like when you guys know you're kind of just around the corner from the season? Uh, it's 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 exciting. Um, I don't even words can't even describe how we feel right now. Um, we're just ready to go out there, show what we can do, and and have a good season. This opener is actually special for you guys on from Miami. A lot of guys on the team from down there. What yeah. does that game mean to you guys? Uh, it means a lot. Um, just showing we're the best in the state, best in the country. I'm um, going out there dominating, and um, there's going to be a lot of family and friends. We just got to go out there and put on a show. So it's a b very big game for a lot of people on the team. How much extra pressure is it, though, when you're the only game on, you know, you're coming off a great season, you want to prove you're legit? Uh, for me personally, there's no pressure at all. Um, like I said, the guys come here for big games like this. Um, and we're looking forward to it. We're excited. And um, we just want to go out there and show the nation that we're the best in the country. Kamari said that he gets a lot of phone calls from his old former teammates. Do you yeah. get some phone calls? Yeah, call I actually have a lot of friends on uh, Miami, a couple of them. One of my best friends in high school goes there now, Mike Carley, he's a receiver. Um, I've talked to him like four or five weeks ago, but now that the game's closer, um, I can't give him those calls no more. So <laughs> it's, very, it's very fun. I'm going to go out there, see a couple friends. But um, at the end of the day, it's business, and we're going to go out there and dominate. You gonna find him in pregame? Huh? You gonna find him in pregame? I might find him in pregame. Give him, a, give him a little glare, a glare. <laughs> so show him that that we're coming out and we mean business. So it'll be exciting. What kind of camp does Jacob Copeland have, and what could he bring to the offense for you? Guys? Uh, Jacob Copeland, he's electric. He's um, back healthy now. He's one of the most electric players, um, probably on the team, as well as KT. Um, but he's he's having a great camp, a phenomenal camp. He's going out there. He's made plays. Um, probably every practice, and he's just an overall um, phenomenal receiver. Is he going to be a factor during the season? Well, most he definitely. He, he's, um, he's, he's getting there. He's getting along. He's, he's learning the offense quick, very fast, faster than I did, and, and uh, he's, he's going to be a star. Dan Mullen said the, the second scrimmage was a lot cleaner from you guys, better executed. Yeah. What What's kind that? of went into that? What changed from the first scrimmage? To the um, I feel like the first scrimmage we were all just – trying to get back into the, the loop of things. Um, second scrimmage, we came out there with our with our head right. We knew what we needed to do. We knew it needed to be a clean scrimmage because that's, that's the next time we put on our pads or we go into the swamp, it'll be a real game. So um, we all had the mindset to go out there and just execute, um, do our things, do our plays right, and um, clean everything up. How much extra confidence did that give you seeing you know, that the execution went well? Well, it gave us a lot of confidence, um, knowing that from the quarterback position to the receivers to the D-line, everybody is doing their job, doing their assignment, no no MAs. Um, it's it's an awesome feeling knowing that on, we're going to go out there and um, know our assignments and not have any mess-ups. What's, what's the best example you could point to of growth for Memory Jones from this year to last from last year? Uh, Growth-wise, uh, I feel like he's grown a lot. Um, he comes out there, he knows his assignments, he knows his reads. Um, and one of the biggest things for, I feel like, all of the quarterbacks, they uh, they read the field a lot better um, from the first read to the second read to their check downs. Um, Coach Johnson's done a phenomenal job with helping them do that and be able to read the field. And so for Emory, I feel like that's one of the biggest things he's learned to do is is um, get through his reads quickly and um, know where the ball needs to go and where it needs to go on audibles or checks. Were you able to get to know Tate well at Ohio State? Um, I was. I've, uh, that was actually one of my roommates at Ohio State. Um, so me and him, are, we've had a, um, a kind of uh, a connection, a bond. So I know him pretty well, yeah. Did, did you talk to him when he transferred to Miami? You kind of know like what he's Um I didn't talk to him that much. I haven't talked to him that much since. Um, I've actually only probably talked to him like three or four times. But I talked to him through the process um, of going to Miami and know where he was going to go and stuff like that. But. Other than that, I haven't talked to him pretty much about football or nothing like that. I mean, if you, I, I know you're not on defense, but if yeah. Florida does get to see him next week, what can yeah. you expect? Um, Florida can expect, um, well, I can expect, I know what he's going <laughs> to expect. Uh, he's going to expect um, a hungry defense that's probably not going to let him get a ball off because uh, I feel like we have one of the best defenses in the country, um, which we do. We have the best corners, safeties, everything. So um, I know he better be ready. Um, come game time. Yeah. Going, going as far back as the spring, talking to guys on the team, it's not really mm -hmm. been a secret that you guys are going to go as the O-line goes. Mm -hmm. Where do you feel like that group is now? Um, I feel like the O-line, they're getting there. Um, we've had, they've had struggles just like every other unit on this team. Um, but they continue to strive and they continue to try to get better every day. And uh, they've improved a lot when they go against a D-line like we do, like we have. Um, it's kind of hard to 
get confidence because our D-line is so good. But at the end of the day, um, if we face the best D-line in practice every day, when it comes game time, game time will be easy. So I feel like coming out um, August 24th, that it'll be um, pretty easy for them. Speaking of that, have you, what have you seen from Cox so far? I know he's only been here a couple of yeah. times. Yeah, uh, he's phenomenal. He's a good, he's good, he's fast, he's quick. Um, he actually, he has some moves that I've never seen before, but he's he's phenomenal. I feel like he'll be a great um, add-on to our defense. Like what? Sort of moves. Uh, he well, a couple two days ago in practice, he did a spin move like reversal, crazy. I don't even know how to what to call it because I'm not on D line, but it was some crazy spin move thing he did that and was like whoa. And the, all the receivers seen it because they were doing like inside one on one pass pro, so it was pretty cool to see. And he's just gonna help our O line get better. I'll end of the day. The moment for us. <laughs> <laughs> I wish, but yeah. What's that like for the locker room? Like when a guy just suddenly appears on your team? Um. At the end of the day, business is business. Um, we're gonna embrace him um, and love him like a brother, and that's what he is to us now. He's a brother, um, and at the end of the day, he's on our team now, and we look forward to having him, and we're gonna embrace him just like anybody else. Molly said yesterday that even at a young age, he recognized that Savage like demanded respect from the guys and mm -hmm. every time he went in and led a workout. What is it about him that kind of demands that? Uh, Coach Savage, everyone respects him um, from start to finish. He's he has the most energy probably uh, in the building. He's a, a phenomenal coach. He he makes sure his uh, players are at their highest point at all times. Um, if I, if, for example, if I come in a little tired, he'll make sure I'm up. He'll wake me up. He'll scream. He'll yell mm -hmm. until I'm up. So he just demands he just demands the best out of you. And I feel like. Um, players see that, and that makes players respect him the most because at the end of the day, he just wants the best out of you. What works better, Savage or Coffee? Savage, <laughs> easily, any day. <laughs> any day. This may be a weird question, but is there anything about the 2019 Gators that you guys think you're going to surprise people with on the field? Um, I feel like we're going to surprise people with how well our offense is going to flow this year. Um, I feel like from the quarterback position to the receivers, everybody knows their assignments um, like the back of their hand. We uh. We're rolling, and um, at the end of the day, I feel like we're going to really surprise people with how smooth we are. Felipe said the other day that his brother came out during the summer and would do some mm -hmm. workouts for y'all. What was it like having him here? Um, it's always cool to have Felipe's brother here. He's like he's like one of us, but at the end of the day, um, he gives us tips and stuff because he knows what it takes to, to get there. Um, he's in the NFL, so he just shows us little things. He goes out there, he runs routes, he works out, and um, at the end of the day, it's it's uh, it's exciting to see somebody at the upper level be so close with us and give us little tips and stuff like that.